clothes that fit my body for fall the hottest fall pinterest trends we're gonna run the world and it's the fact that everything was on prime so it came overnight now before we jump into the video i asked you guys if you guys wanted to travel together if you're from the patreon hello hi yes we'll include people here too <laughs> everyone is welcome to join a healing girl traveling trip whether that's korea japan let's go together please take the survey i'm gonna link it down below all you have to do is click designer trip together i'm trying to figure out the top country you guys want to go to so i can make the best the most perfect Perfect, the most healing, the most tipsy, women empowering trip for us. I'd appreciate your help. Click the survey, fill it out. Let me know where you guys want to go, what your budget looks like, and let's do this damn thing. We deserve it. Let's go on a girls' trip. I cannot wait to gossip. I cannot wait to get tipsy with y'all. I can't wait to just make new friends. We're gonna explore food. We're gonna explore scenery. We're gonna do activities. The whole trip will be planned. Transportation is planned. Breakfast, dinner is planned. Everything. Sit back, relax. We have a tour guide. We don't have to worry about what we need to do this is gonna be life-changing i finally get to meet my besties okay fine let's get into the haul so i took a crap load of inspiration from pinterest i'm just gonna mix and match everything for our first look i took inspiration from this and not everything is gonna be exact again inspo i found these high-waisted jeans they better work out. it's supposed to be ankle length you guys have no idea how much spirit this is helping my soul had a really rough day yesterday like sobbing if you can't tell my eyes are a little poofy um get on patreon if you want to know it's been rough however today change of pace oh <gasps> look how cute shut the front door jeans from amazon that finally fit me with no bad camo and they're stretchy oh my god actually <laughs> Look at these flexible denim. They're high-waisted and they're bell-shaped. And then there are these pockets right here. I was really nervous it was gonna like protrude my rolls, but so far, so good. Cute. One girl obviously has a white dress shirt. This is actually from my shop, that's her shop.com, but I discontinued it from last fall. Really big and long, so let's just try to tuck it in. And try not to get makeup on it because that is a girl's worst nightmare. Okay, I need to like bring this back or something. Look how cute this oversized blouse is. Too long, too long. Because it's meant to be worn as a dress. We're gonna tie it as a little knot. It's a little chunky. Let's not be babies. Let's try to tuck it. I'm gonna try to find a nice Amazon dupe for this linen top. Okay, much better. Let's try to knead that into your um, tummy so there's no obvious bumps. Now that we have a dress shirt that opens up super cute. Fall is all about reds and burgundy. It was our trending color last fall and it did not go anywhere. It came, it conquered, it stayed. So I have this brighter red or this cardigan. I think I'm gonna go, <gasps> yes. Is it too thin? What about the cardigan? That's too big now. This is so much fun. I feel like I haven't found clothes that fit me well and that I'm excited about. This season is about us. She basically just dangles this over her shoulder. I love this linen dress shirt. It's like how it like falls on your shoulders so nicely with the color. Cute, kind of looks like a sailor. She clearly has a green bag. <laughs> I didn't include any bags in this haul, so we're just gonna skip that. I got these cute ass ballet flats. These were highly rated on Amazon. I couldn't find five and a half, I found six though. Take off our socks. These are so cute. A flat on top, like a little square toe, but not too square where you're like mooing around. It still has like a nice oval shape to it, so it feels like a pointed toe. And then the claps, it's so easy. You just clip it on like that. So cushioning, so cute. I like that it's not a bright red. Oh, I really want my size. Look how cute these flats are my only complaint here let me show you so when you clip it on the strap part's a little long so you will be stepping on that and it's gonna be dragging on the floor that part's a little annoying <sighs> Wow, oops, chic. It feels like you dot your eyes and cross your T's. Like if I saw a girl dressed like this, I would not question her decisions. I would trust her with my life. We are not here to uh, be indecisive. We are here to make decisions and move the fuck on. Patreon fam, you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, the bag does not look as flattering, but you know what, we're working on the behind. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of weird for me to see myself dressed like this because, you know, I am enjoying the sophisticated, mature look. You can still look super sexy being a little bit more conservative, and that's one thing I'm working on. Y'all know, they likes her titties up. There you go. But you know, as you're getting smaller <laughs> and saggier, I'm just like, yeah, let's just, let's just wrap it up. It's a very realistic outfit in everyday wear, and also just trending. If you wear something like this out, people are gonna look at you like not only does she look like she's financially stable she looks mentally stable very clean the red and blue is amazing even the different shades of red just puts it together it's not too loud but it's enough that's all i ever want to be it's enough <laughs> yesterday i was so depressed and honestly i'm trying really hard not to fall into depression and this is weird that i'm saying this right now but i'm in the depressed part of 
gravy. Don't know why I said that, but intrusive thoughts, you know. I have no filter now. These pants make me look slim. She lost two pant sizes. And she did. Must have for fall. And it fits my body. Yay! Since we have my favorite long oversized blouse on, let's try to go for this look. I think the point is to make everything super versatile so you don't have to buy like a shit ton of clothes. You could just buy a couple pieces and it just all works together. I got these tights, size large. I'm gonna put them on. I hate putting on tights. I think these tights were like six bucks. The whole point of this haul is to find staples. Especially since I'm still trying to figure out my body right now. And what's like gonna fit, what's gonna stay. Cause you never know, this weight might just come all back. Oh, <gasps> already? Get yourself some high kicks. Look how amazing this blouse acts like a dress so you don't have to wear anything under it, but if you want to, probably should. Listen, Linda, I thought I had my knitted vest, but turns out I forgot I gave it away to my niece. I do have a puffer jacket that you could totally get on Amazon too. How cute. Mm. Okay, I guess it's not that cute. Grab the cutest little bag you have. Even if you just wear something like this without a vest, look how tiny and dainty you look. I love the open shoulder concept with the blouse falling off. Black tights, perfect. That's all you need, literally. This is such a cute mini little fall outfit. So simple, anyone can do it. It's trending. Put a vest on, put a coat on. Options are endless. Fall is made for oversized blouses. Get yourself one. I'll try to link one similar to my That's Her Shop blouse. And if you guys bought this last fall, perfect time to bust it out. See Super cute. Okay, so I went to my closet and just grabbed this denim skirt. There was no need to buy a new one if I had black skirts already. It's a little loose, but I kind of like it. It's not too long, not too short. And then we're gonna pair it up with a funky sweater. I found this sweater. And honestly, online, it looked a little bit chunkier. You know falls about the chunky sweaters. There was this khaki color that was a little lighter and nudey, but I opted for this brown shade because why not be a little spontaneous. The skirt's a little too big and this sweater's a little too short. You can find this on my Poshmark. Okay, maybe this velvety skirt. I haven't worn this since 2020. Oh, so cute. It's velvet, it's a little asymmetrical. Is it too much? Okay, it works, it works. you have any big, chunky black boots, these are so comfy. Cute! You could be even more creative, not really, and layer on some socks, some frilly socks or something to break up the black. And because my skirt is velvet, it kind of sits in my pooch right here, so you can kind of see that glare, which I don't love. So if the sweater was a little longer, a little chunkier, it would have been perfect. If you're not looking for an oversized sweater, and a perfect sweater to just like tuck in some jeans, like this. This is perfect. It has this cute black round triangular pattern. And the balloon sleeve makes the sweater feel very chunky and big. It's just, it's a little hollow. I'd say it doesn't hold its structure. I feel like the bodice could have been better. The sleeves are definitely the best part. And I kind of like the cinnamon brown pumpkin spice color. Very fall, very Halloween. The round crew neck just gives a very cozy look to it anyway. The moments I don't want it to be short girl friendly, it is very short girl friendly. Pretty well rounded for a five foot tall girl. And I kind of love that it looks like a men's jumper. So it looks like you just put on your man's sweater and it's very tomboyish. Simplicity, it doesn't have to be all out and about. Just cute. Cozy. Okay, so I threw on this cute denim mini skirt. Obsessed. I didn't get this on Amazon, but I'm gonna try to find it if I can link it. And I want to pair it up with that red long sleeve that we had over our shoulder. It's one shoulder, so tuck in those bra straps. And honestly, you don't have to wear tights with this outfit. I'm just lazy. Look how cute this off the shoulder is. I found these burgundy red booties. It's white calf. It has a tinge of that red, but from far away, it looks more like a brick brown. Obsessed. Oh, my calves are a little too chunky. <gasps> So freaking cute. Okay, I don't know if this color skirt matches the outfit. <sighs> We're just gonna pretend. These boots are everything. And it's the perfect height. It's so comfy. Okay, honestly, I thought I was gonna love this top a little bit more. It's either the top is off or the skirt's too light. Maybe a darker skirt or even like a black skirt. But then this starts to look a little bit Christmassy, don't you think? I think the red is too bright. I was trying to find like a chunky sweater red off the shoulder like hers, but I couldn't. So I was like, oh, I'll just do like a fitted red off the shoulder. Very sexy. The color is just like a in your face. But with the outfit, I don't know, especially with these boots. What if we just opted for a black shirt? I love how this haul has no structure to it. We're literally just trying on clothes and I love it. Feels more like a girlfriend on FaceTime call type of video. Hear me out. A black long sleeve mesh fitted to the body, a little see-through, not too much. A little high mock neck, not too high because we don't want our double chins coming out. With the denim skirt and these cute boots, the highlight of our outfit. And then we take this brown leather bomber jacket. Throw it on top because 
all the girls are doing that. I love that it covers up the mini skirt from the back. This brown actually complements the boots a lot. Honestly, the boots just steal the show. Burgundy brown color and the pointed square toe with the mini heel. Your feet won't hurt. And then it has like this baggier wide set down here. I wish this jacket had a little bit more structure so it'll hold itself a little more wide instead of like sinking onto my body. For the most part, it works and it's so cute. So these faux leather jackets came out trending last fall and I'm sure they're here to stay. So this year is a rinse and repeat of that. Love, 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 love. Okay, so before we throw off these tights, I have this big green sweater that I'm hoping and praying that's super big and oversized. I chose this color because I don't know, I like green. Oh, super big. The quality in it, girl. I took inspo by this girly pop. She just wore Uggs with her big oversized sweater. And when you search on Amazon like oversized sweaters, you don't get too many options. They're very much recycled sweaters from last fall. Got me my fake Uggs. Yeah, we can't be that mad. It's super cute. See, this is totally wearable. Sweater is a little light. It's breezy. Has a little mock neck that goes up. The sleeves obviously are chunky and super wide. The bodice to sleeve ratio. <laughs> it's chunky. It's long. I do feel a little bit like a mom. It's not the best quality sweater. It's a little lighter. The material has more of this shine to it and like slippery feel. Not as cozy as that pumpkin spice sweater. It works works. It's on Prime. It'll come overnight. Affordable. Because it's so light, you could totally layer your jacket on. I'm starting to really like this jacket. I feel like you could wear it with any fall outfit and it'll just go. Especially if you want to do sweater dresses like this. Full leather jacket on like this. It is tight season, guys. Boots are so cozy comfy. Go to my Shein haul if you want to find the exact booties. Next are these Levi jeans. If you have no booty, I don't know what they construct back here. But it just flatters your little cake. Okay, fits! It's a little loose. I could have done 29, but you know what? I'm not complaining. See what I mean? I really think it's this part with the little red tag. It just looks good on little booties. So this next inspo was definitely out of my comfort zone as well. You know me, I like to wear things that are fitted because my body shape. However, I thought I'd try something new that you and I both never seen before. Inspired by Miss Shirley. I love a checkered print on top of denim. Let's see, hoping I didn't make a mistake. I tried. She had denim on with like a loose checkered blouse. I mean, of course with the pop of color with the bag, but I don't have a bag. Ooh, red flats. Okay, the red flats help. I think we can't do baggy on bag. The jeans itself, very baggy. The top, of course, loose. So it just looks like too wide. Like the flats definitely help get a pop of color. The idea is there, but would I realistically wear something like this out? Absolutely not. Too far out of my reach. If I had my hair knotted, that might help. I feel like usually things that are not me, I can try to finesse, see potential in it. I've learned that you can't really rely on potential at the end anyway. I've learned to take things as they are and not hope for the best sometimes. You just have to like take it as it is. And this as it is, is definitely not me. Yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a little much. So we're gonna pass on this blouse. <laughs> okay, so I kept the denim on. I put the boots back on, pointed. Pants are still a little too long, but it's okay. And then I put on this white tank so we can see how chunky this cute red cardigan is. Red riding hood moment. I mean, this is cute. It's just your typical red cardigan. Nothing too fancy. It's very grandma-esque. The color is very dull for red, but that into someone's horn if you don't want like a super vibrant red. It doesn't feel as fashionable, low-key, chill. Up close like this, super cute with like a tank underneath. But the further I go, that's the thing. If I don't love it, I'm not gonna keep it. I don't know. If I didn't have the expectations wanting it to be chunky versus droopy, I think I would like it. But because I was expecting like a chunky girl, it's just, it's, it's so, so. See, if it were short and chunky like this, I would totally keep it. But because it's like long and loopy, nah. Would have been cuter if it tightened up at the wrist, but it doesn't. So I'm sure with the money, we can find a better cardigan. What is fall without a nice, cute little plaid skirt? Okay, good sizing. Not too tight, not too loose. Appropriate length. Love the plaid and love the color palette. Has a nice tinge of blue gray going along the nice, beautiful brown. Perfect if it just a tad tighter. If you're gonna be on Pinterest, you're gonna see skirts like this all over. So might as well grab one. It's long enough where I literally can like bend over if I need to. Oh, 
brown of the skirt so soft so subtle i'm just trying to think what i would put on top of this you could do a tinier poof jacket you don't have to again the jacket just works with anything a lot of people are wearing jackets and jeans and then they just put on like a big chunky scarf blues and greens and red i have this pastel yellow that's very much like spring easter but i love the chunkiness to the scarf that's cute just in general the skirt is really nice i will say it's not like the best quality i mean what do you expect it's amazon i do foreshadow that eventually when i eat too much and drink too much my rolls will come out from the dark that's fine like if i were to sit you see just to know if you have belly rolls and a fupa and you're like conscious of that not too many pleats just right here in the middle and like on the side it pinches a little so it gives you a little bit of that flare a little shaping and sharpening pretty safe bet for a skirt it runs on the longer side not too many has like more of this like blanket feel it's not a bad choice but it's not like the highest quality lastly was that poofer vest i'm not gonna change out of this because i'm too tired now the inspo was this the best throw a long sleeve tee underneath some baggy jeans tie your hair up into a bun put on a cap i feel like this is very incognito very fall friendly even the reviews say to like size down so that's what i did and i think it's like the perfect size honestly a medium pocket it's a very like basic height vest what do you expect around fall time <sighs> all the bitches be busting these out so i thought i'd just get one just in case i get it if you just want to throw on a long sleeve but you want some extra warmth but not a full jacket go with the poofer vest why not and I like that the poofiness is not too overdone where you do feel like you're adding like three sizes to you can still have your cute little figure like floating in this without looking like you're in bubble wrap very square on your shoulders without making you look bulky you could still be very feminine and petite in this is my point I say if you've been looking for a bubble vest for fall this is the perfect one on Amazon thanks for making this feel like a FaceTime call where we're just like throwing ideas around I love Pinterest favorite finds definitely these boots and don't forget to click the survey for the traveling situation because ugh, we need to do this trip it's a healing girl era finally a girl's trip love you see you next time bye tell me where you